Look, I want to ask you about the NBN and internet coverage. The NBN is still failing a lot of people in internet coverage, particularly in regional areas. We've seen that Elon Musk's Starlink now, well, they claim that they've got about 120,000 customers. Do you think the NBN's going to end up being, a, you know, a very expensive white elephant? Shari, the NBN is getting absolutely smashed by Elon Musk. The NBN lost 4,000 customers last week, and in the last three weeks, it's lost 8,000 customers. Michelle Rowland, the government minister's response, is to set up a roundtable of bureaucrats. You know, I'm sure that's got Elon Musk quaking in his boots. <laughs> um, really serious issues um, in the NBN. And you've got a minister who likes to turn up in a fluoro vest when, you know, the NBN makes an announcement about a new site, but... Where's the horsepower to actually lead the NBN forward? This is a very valuable asset for Australian taxpayers and uh, I'm very concerned about its trajectory. And you've got a, a, min a minister here who's really um, missing in action and I don't think that's a but good thing for the country. Again, I mean, it, the Labor's only been in power one year, so isn't this ultimately the fault of the coalition government? Well, well, no, not at all, because the uh, the decline in numbers has really been over the last year. And the satellite, I'll give you an example, the Elon Musk satellite service Starlink has only been rolled out across the country for about 18 months, and it's already overtaken the NBN. Yeah. And the minister back in January, February, literally her response was to set up a committee to look into the policy okay. issues. And, David. you know, that's just, that's not going to cut it. All right, but look, we're running out of time and I want to get on to the pork barrelling of Labor's mobile black spot program. Uh, this, of course, we've been giving extensive time to on my program. This, To remind viewers, this is how Labor gave funding for to fix mobile black spots. 40 out of 54 areas were in Labor electorates. Look, you've been trying to do freedom of information requests to the Minister uh, Michelle Rowland to find out how decisions were made to allocate funding to these 54 target locations. What's been the response? The response been, has been that Michelle Rowland is refusing to provide one single document. And, you know, she's obviously worried about this. She doesn't want us to get our hands on those documents. Uh, and she should be worried because the government's conduct in this matter is appalling. Now, the Auditor General has said he sees merit in a uh, potential inquiry here. We'll get confirmation of that uh, in uh, the first week in July. And it's very important that that full inquiry occurs because, you know, this is dodgy. And, uh, you know, Mr Albanese was quoted many times in opposition saying that this, his government wouldn't allocate uh, money based on marginal yeah. seats and so on. That's exactly what they have done here. All right. David Coleman, thank you very much for your time.